So the one I'm doing today is a poem 97. It's called Lonely. And I was inspired to write this while I was in like, Jerusalem. I was going for my and I found myself in this desert in the morning of my first morning and I decided to write about this period of loneliness anyway. So it's called Lonely. What is loneliness? You go to work, you sit on the bus, on the train, you return home, you watch television from Monday to Friday, you say your prayer at night, you enjoy life, you buy things online, you do your food shopping online, you receive parcels delivered daily, your neighbors pick up your parcels, your neighbors occasionally park in your bay, you travel by train to work, you go to the gym, you have contact but you don't interact much, you spend a lot of time on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter or the internet, you attend a meal at the weekend with family, you attend church on a Sunday, you have the opportunity to interact but you choose not to, you can't stop, you can stop and chat over a cup of tea at church but you choose not to, you can go into the shop to buy your groceries but you choose not to. There are loads of opportunities to break the cycle of loneliness. A lot of 16 to 24 year olds are lonely. And they really, are they really lonely? Or do they choose to be lonely? My neighbor lives alone with her dog, but she makes an effort to speak to her neighbors regularly. She has to come up or she may be a loner. But is she a loner? She sometimes becomes a loner when people see her as well. If you know anyone in this age group, please speak to them on a regular basis to combat loneliness in our communities. Smile at someone today. You might be their only contact for the day. And this was me writing about my younger son, who's 27, and I kind of find him. He works in the city, he's got a good job, but he kind of doesn't really mix much and sometimes I get worried and I've shared this poem with him and he keeps saying to me, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> so, I don't know, that's why, that's what inspired me to write that poem. Oh, thank you.